Hey, pretty gang, it is Jen, and I want to come first off, hashtag braid boss in the comments. I need y'all to check in, check in, check in. Hashtag pretty gang in the comments. You guys actually want to come in and talk to my braiders, but this will probably be helpful for everybody, but my braiders, bring it in. I want to talk to you guys about how to use Acuity scheduling as your option for people to book you, right? Some of the old school things that I mentioned before, style scene, book ski, all those things work. But if you want a place where people can specifically book you, Acuity is a good way. Let's jump right into it. So I know a lot of people want to know about the pricing. Let's first things first, the pricing. How much it's going to cost you, honey? Okay, so they do have a free option, but they want you to first try the, the free trial. Um, I mean, not free. it's going to be a free trial, but then it's you're going to pay $14 a month after that, right? But the $14 a month, what it gives you, you guys, is it pretty much... Um, one person will be able to operate it, but you know, we can go into that later. But um, there, it offers unlimited, unlimited scheduling. It accepts payments from Stripe, Square, and PayPal. You guys, it lets you use uh, different Google Rooms. It lets you Zoom and all that. And I think the best thing for us as braiders is the confirmation, reminders, and follow-up emails that this provides you. And... Yeah, it gives you the reminders, but you can go in and you can do the reminders on your own, you guys. You do not have to do this. Um, and even if you do the seven-day trial, you figure out like you know what I don't want to pay the fourteen dollars. You can still utilize Acuity. You get you don't you get oh that's something else. The fourteen dollars gets you. It gets you a a personalized link. But if you were to say I don't want to do the trial, I mean you have to do the trial. But I'm saying if you don't want to do, you don't want to pay the fourteen dollars and you just want to do free, you guys, you can do it. What it's going to offer you is a place to still let people book your people to still book your services as a braider or a natural hairstylist um it's gonna still remind you it sends you email reminders once a week not not every day so you have to check that on your own to see who's been booking you um and it, it gives you a place where people can see how much you charge and all that good stuff you guys so if you do not want to do it for full you know the 14 dollars um even if you still utilize this on its own, I think it's still a good option, you guys. So let's jump in. We're going to log in, right? Now I'm going to kind of show you guys around their back office. So pretty much here is their back office, and there's the calendar, there's the clients, and then there's the reports. The special, the main things you guys want to worry about is scheduling page, link. So how I told you, if you pay the $14 a month, it gives you an actual personalized link. But if you do not pay the $14, you still have a link, you guys. It's just not a personalized link. That's all that's going to mean. You're just going to grab the link from here and you're going to post it into your um, Instagram bio, your Facebook bio, TikTok, whatever you're using. You can grab this link, but it will not be a personalized link. It'll just be a generic link, but it'll go directly to your page, right? So definitely the link is important. Also, what's important is, you know, your availability. So when they talk about your availability, that's where you're going to actually put each service that you do. So here's what, um, well, correction, your availability shows what you're available for. So the, the availability really is your hours. So, you know, how we talk about like having hours of operation. That's what is well, what your availability will be shown to clients when they come to your link for acuity it's going to show them like what days and what times that you're available so you do have to come in here and you actually have to set it up on your own and if you don't it's going to default to saying that you're available every day so you're going to have to come in here you guys and click the calendar settings and then you're going to actually have to you know change what you're available for so you actually can Save your hours you can change your hours you guys and then you can actually go to each day if you want to every month and change the hours um, but I know a lot of people just have it kind of listed for like regular saved hours you might be like okay whatever my saved hours are that's what I want to show my people but this is where all of this happens you guys it's your availability and then underneath it is the actual calendar and then you can actually go in you guys you can actually put in each day and change your hours okay so let's go back and let's actually do, let's create um, a appointment type. So appointment types is where you're going to put what service you have, right? So I'm going to click appointment types. I'm going to put new type of service. So I'm going to add a new type of service, you guys. So I'm going to say box braids. Box braids media, right? I'm going to say, how long is that going to take me? 
and they do theirs in minutes you guys so I'm going to say you know box braids if they're large let's be realistic I'm going to do the large ones right so if I do box braids large honestly you guys it takes me about three hours so that's going to take me 120 minutes right and then um if you want to guys you can click add longer description and you can add more things like okay box braids large I might put you know will need for pack oh, sorry you guys I'll put need four packs of hair right I'm not typing right to that I'll put four packs of hair you guys and then so you can write what you need the client to do right and you come down here, you guys you could create appointment and then boom they're gonna let me know and it says no price set so what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll click edit you guys and I'll put and then that didn't even work that was not the correct time so 180 hours I mean 180 minutes then it says what price and I'm gonna put a hundred dollars and then I'm gonna hit save or update appointment and then as you guys can see now this is the link right and then, well, not the link, you guys. This is the actual where I was just at, where I showed you guys how you can go in and you can actually fill out your services. So I just did box braids. And if I want to, I can click, click, I say click, click direct link scheduling, right? So I'm going to click here. I'll highlight it. I'm going to copy and paste. Then I'm going to paste this in here. And then it's going to, it should take me to this specific appointment right so if somebody this is how it's gonna look you guys if somebody wants to book me for box braids three hours it's gonna take a hundred I mean it's gonna be a hundred dollars and I'm gonna need you know four packs of braids then remember how I told you guys earlier this is the scheduling this is what I have already set up so I might they might be like okay well she not available on she only available Mondays Saturdays Mondays Sundays and Saturdays okay I'm gonna do it on a Monday and I want to go at like 11 so then the person will click and they'll click continue and then that's when it's going to grab all their information. It's going to ask for their name, their phone number, and their email. And then the email is saying it's going to be required. This is because Acuity is going to send them an email to say, hey, you booked this. But because this will be the free version on your side as the braider or the natural hairstylist, it's not going to do any reminders. You're going to have to do reminders if you want to, if you're going to do the free version. But if you do the paid version for $14, and this is I'm not um endor not not endorsing it this is just a tutorial but I'm saying I'm not getting paid to tell y'all to get this but you guys it's gonna make your life much easier especially if you're an active writer and you you know don't want to keep going back with the text messages and all of that stuff you should still do that but this is a way for people to just go book you you can just whatever it says on my site is on my site you know and for those of you guys who do not know I have a course braid hair for cash course and in my braid hair for cash course I'm going to be adding what you should be putting on your appointment or scheduling site I'm going to put some things you should have on there because sometimes it's just this basic and this plain and I'm only doing this because I'm showing you guys I want to hold y'all all day to show you guys what this does but there's things that you need to put on there just so that when you deal with your clients it can be a good experience and everything can flow they can book they can be contacted they can come get their hair braided, you get paid, you can get move on to your next client. So this is what this is for you guys and this is what it actually looks like to your client. So I'm going to just close this out and come back to where we were at you guys which is your appointment types. So again, your appointment types is where you set up your services, right? And then you're going to put in your um, availability is where you set up your scheduling, right? And then your schedule page link is where you're going to have your link to your whole entire page and if you want to you can create direct links to each service you have I do not suggest that I suggest you stick with the one link so people can see all of your services and as you guys could also see inside of appointment types there's also add-ons right but add-ons is a premium feature again if you're going to get the paid version this is going to be available to you right but if you do not get the pre if you do not get the paid version you cannot use add-ons but if you were to want to use add-ons you would have to pay for at least one of their premium packages which is the minimum one is the $14 a month so you guys again this is how you utilize Acuity pretty much what you're going to need to use is the availability part 
the scheduling page part and the appointment tax is going to be the most important for you because that is where you're going to put in each service you have that you want to offer people to book you with so you guys i hope that this was helpful again this was brought to you by my break here for cash course at breakhereforcash.com. I'll be talking to you guys later. Hashtag pretty gang in the comments. Bye, y'all. Or hashtag brave boss in the comments. Talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.